Yo, yo, it's Yerk, and today I'm going to be showing you guys a neat little trick that I found that can be used to create your own custom island images in Fortnite Creative. But before we get started, if you guys enjoyed this video at any point, do me a favor, drop a like, hit subscribe, do whatever you want to do, and all that stuff. And if you want to support me further, you can use code YERKYT in the item shop, and it really helps me out a lot. But let's hop right into this video, and I will start by saying I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure that you do need to have publishing rights in order to do this, but... If you guys missed my last video, I showed you guys how to fill out the application to get publishing rights without needing a thousand followers, and I'll have that linked in the top right corner of this video, so click up there right now if you guys want to check it out, but don't forget to come back because you guys are still going to want to stick around for this one because you'll want to know how to do this if you do get accepted. Also, last thing, a lot of you guys were asking how long it takes and I don't know the answer to that, but I do know that it can take Epic up to six weeks to respond to map submissions. So I would assume that you can expect a similar amount of time for the publishing applications. But now that that's out of the way, this trick is super, super easy and I actually found it on accident, but as you can see, I have a few examples of this trick in action. So island previews typically are created by simply taking a screenshot of your island, and then you click apply and publish, and you'll have the screenshot as the preview. But we haven't been able to upload our own renders outside of Fortnite, so it's been pretty bland, but using the player spawn pad, we can actually get a character in the island image. And we just have to use a couple of the right settings. The key settings for this to work is you need to make sure that you have visibility in game set to yes, and you also need to have use as island start set to yes as well. You can use any other settings you want, as long as both of those settings are set to yes, you'll be able to get a character into your island image. And I've been testing out a bunch of various different ways of using this, and here's what I found. You cannot resize the spawn pad in order to make the default skin appear bigger or smaller. You can still resize the spawn pad, but the spawn pad will just be extra large or extra small and the NPC will remain normal size. But moving on to the next one, like I said, you cannot set the spawn pad to invisible during game. It must be set to visible, but a good workaround is to just hide the spawn pad right underneath the surface and it does a pretty good job of hiding it in that way. You cannot have multiple NPCs in the image. If you do, it will only show up with the last one to be placed. So as you can see in this example, I have four of them placed, but we can only see one. One really interesting thing that I did find though, is you can actually change which NPC skin it is, either a male or a female or vice versa, by simply retaking the image and republishing which I thought was pretty neat, but definitely interested to see how you guys use this mechanic. And if you do use it, send me the island image on Discord, link in the description if you're not already in there, or on Twitter at YerkYT. But that is all I have for this video, but click here to keep watching some of my other videos that are on screen now. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thank you all so much for watching, and as always, stay up.